take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, just imagine breathing in a wonderful feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of stress or tension to feel like it's leaving your body in your outward breath. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to notice if there's any feelings of discomfort in your body. And maybe that discomfort is a muscle that's tense where it doesn't need to be. If your body's in a position that could be made more comfortable. But I want you to notice that as you breathe in and breathe out, you are releasing any feelings of discomfort. I want you to imagine discomfort being a shadowy color in your body. But as you breathe in that warm, resourceful feeling of relaxation, as you exhale, you can feel that shadowy color of discomfort. Allow it to leave your body in your outward breath, enabling you to go deeper and deeper, relaxed. Allow your eyelids to relax. Allow your jaw to relax. Notice any tension around your neck and your shoulders just melting away. Arms feeling limp, loose, heavy. And almost imagine your head as a balloon and your neck as a piece of string. And it's a helium balloon, a big light helium balloon and just feels that your head is just so light and floaty. Breathing in and breathing out. And I want you to think about a place in your mind that represents comfort. Maybe it's your own home. Maybe it's a couch a bed, a garden, or maybe it's a place from your childhood that was just the most comfortable place ever. Make yourself cozy in your imagination in that comfortable place. Imagine yawning in that comfortable place. Imagine releasing all tension in that comfortable place. Imagine smiling and relaxing in that comfortable place. And then I want you to imagine that there is a portal, a portal that can take you to any place in time and any place in the world. And a portal could be represented by a door or a swirl of energy like a wormhole. You decide what your portal is. And also decide where your portal ends up. And I want you to think of a time, a time in the past, where you chose to ignore your intuition at the point where you needed to listen to it most. I want you to think of where you were, what you were doing, but at a time when you were on your own. Maybe you discovered something, found something, learned something, and your intuition knew that something wasn't right. And when you can think of a time, a time like that, let me know by nodding your head. I want you to imagine this portal in this comfortable place is the entrance and the exit to the portal that is instantaneous is this same place you were when you felt like you may have betrayed your intuition 
want you to imagine you're going to go from the future to the past to resolve something that with the benefit of hindsight that was the time to listen not ignore your intuition when you're ready to go back in time and meet that younger version of you let me know by nodding your head I'm going to count down from five to one and you're going to imagine walking through the portal and instantly finding yourself at the other end of the portal back in time, back in that location seeing yourself as you were back then five getting ready to approach the portal four, taking a deep breath in three, a deep breath out two, walking through the portal and one coming out the other side in that new place. And I want you to see that younger version of you. And they're surprised. Who is this strange person suddenly appeared? And I want you to let them know that you are them from the future. They might look suspicious, doubtful, but I want you to share information that only they would know private things, personal things that only they would know and therefore you can only also know because you are them from the future just spend a few seconds to convince them that you and them are the same person at different points in time and when they accept that you are them from the future, let me know by nodding your head. And I want you to let them know that you're here for a very specific reason. To prevent a betrayal. To prevent a chain reaction of lies and self-deceit. to present and to prevent compromise values rippling through time and to ensure that self-love is always a priority for that point of them going forward and I want you to open your mind to the idea of the multiverse that there are infinite parallel universes and that every major decision in life creates a new universe where a chain reaction takes place based on that new information we may not be able to change what happens from that point to your point in our universe but you can help create a new parallel universe where an entire different chain reaction takes place they say that the truth will set you free you are them and I want you to let this younger version of you know what happens if they betray their intuition if they lie to themselves if they don't love themselves Just take a few minutes and almost like stream all the most painful memories and moments that happen from that point to now into the mind of this younger version of you so that reality hits them, that the truth can set them free. They're about to make a decision that does not serve them and you can empower them to make a new decision. Feel like you're streaming every painful moment every feeling of struggle, sadness and it all links to a chain reaction that takes place in this moment and I want you to see the emotional impact that this young, confident version of you has where it could lead if they don't make a different choice and when you feel that they've understood the significance of what the future will bring to them 
If they betray their intuition, just let me know by nodding your head. I want you to give them a hug. To let them know that their intuition is right, is correct. It's not to be overruled. It's not to be ignored. And I want you to tell them, that younger version of you, that they might be worried about what other people think, maybe their parents. And I want you to convince them that that is not a good enough reason to betray your intuition. That things are going to happen in this way anyway, and therefore... Compromising your own values, your own intuition for the judgment of someone else will only hurt you. And if this young version of you accepts that even though other people may be upset, other people may be disappointed, it's still the right thing to trust the judgment that comes from that intuition. Just let me know by nodding your head. This may seem like a tiny moment in history, but it creates a ripple effect throughout time. It's been said that a butterfly flapping its wings in the Amazon rainforest can create hurricanes in a different part of the world. I want you to imagine that you're witnessing this butterfly effect within your life. And I want you to imagine that you are them, and therefore you are their intuition. And I want you to coach them. Coach them on what it does make sense to do in this situation. By prioritizing listening to your intuition, dealing with truth above all else, and doing things that align with self-love, doing the right thing for you, not your parents, not anyone else, but what's right for you. And I want you to imagine just spending a moment or two coaching this younger version of you as to what you would do knowing what you now know. To create that ripple effect throughout time. And then when they're ready. And they feel that they're willing to follow their intuition and your guidance. Guidance from them from the future. Let me know by nodding your head. I want you to tell this younger version of you that you're going to remain there but become invisible. Just to witness what happens. That at any point in time you can still remain invisible. And you can communicate to them almost telepathically. That if they're struggling, not sure what to say, you can just project your thoughts into their head at that particular point in time. But I also want you to imagine that you can give them whatever emotions they need. Courage, strength self-respect, inner belief, emotional strength and resilience. Give them whatever they need and then imagine turning yourself invisible and just watching the events unfold. And maybe you recognize some of these moments, but you're now observing from the perspective a third person in the room and you're now witnessing not what did happen but what could have happened by truly listening to the intuition by truly putting yourself first by dealing with truth above all else just watch what happens maybe as there's a discussion maybe a confrontation And maybe you can see someone using every trick in the book to 
try and convince this younger version of you to maybe stay in a relationship that they're not meant for. But you can see yourself being strong. See that younger version of you putting themselves first. Relying on truth. Relying on their inner strength. Knowing that they are worthy and valuable as they are. Relationship or no relationship. And I want you to see a new timeline being created. Different to the one that actually happened, but a new timeline. A timeline where you see yourself emotionally strong, resilient, confident, aligned with their intuition, full of self-love and self-respect. If it feels good to see this new timeline in history, just let me know, I'm nodding your head. As the events unfold, I want you to then wait until this version of you, this younger version of you, is then on their own again. No one else around. And then make yourself no longer invisible. Give that younger version of you a hug. Tell them that you're proud of them. That you did something difficult, but it was the right thing to do. I want you to ask that younger version of you if it was comfortable to do this. And smile as they say it wasn't. Sometimes doing the uncomfortable thing is doing the necessary thing. Is it better to deal with a few moments of discomfort? To avoid years of discomfort. And if this younger version of you feels that the future is uncertain, let me know by nodding your head. The future is always uncertain. Uncertainty can be uncomfortable, but it can also be exciting. I want you to tell them that so long as they listen to their intuition... As long as they respect themselves and love themselves first above all else. And that they rely on truth as the key framework for making decisions. Not other people's advice or opinions. Not pressure, not stress, not expectation, but truth as the compass to make decisions. Then that will set their life in a very positive direction. If that younger version of you accepts this guidance, this advice. Let me know by nodding your head. And by giving this advice to this younger version of you, you're simultaneously giving yourself the same advice now in the present. I want you to imagine that you're saying goodbye to this younger version of you. Tell them that you are proud of them, you love them, and that they will do magnificent things in their life. Walk back through the portal, back into that comfortable place. And I want you to imagine that ripple through time didn't just affect that multiverse version of you. Probably living a healthy, slim, happy life. But I want you to imagine those resources of self-respect and self-love, of listening to the intuition, of making decisions based on truth above all else feels like it's rippled through time into you as well. And if you feel like you now have those resources, let me know by nodding your head. I want you to imagine what your future now looks like. What can you do things not to meet the expectations of other people? But what can you do to demonstrate the love you have for yourself now? I want you to treat eating nutritious food not as a diet but as an expression of self-love. Moving your body, getting out in nature, breathing fresh air. That's not exercise, that is an act of self-love. 
that there are universal truths. And one of the universal truths of biology is that when you eat well and move around a lot, your body adapts. But I want you to accept the universal truth that discomfort is the catalyst for adaptation. Throughout history, creatures didn't evolve unless there were uncomfortable realities that forced the evolution. Necessity requires adaptation. And I want you to accept a new compelling belief that you are no longer afraid of the discomfort. You embrace it because you know, deep down at your core, that temporary discomfort represents growth. And it's a stepping stone to tap into that version of you that you've always been capable of. And if you're ready to embark on a future of self-love, following your intuition and using truth as the compass to navigate your decisions, let me know by nodding your head. And I want you to see what the next few days and weeks and months look like. Notice the tiny incremental amounts of progress. And it's that progress that gives you more confidence, more self-belief. You can't help but notice the tiniest incremental representations of progress. And that creates momentum. And what's uncomfortable to begin with becomes very comfortable very quickly as your body adapts. If you were to exercise every day for a hundred days, it's only the first few days that would be uncomfortable. By day four or five or six, your body is already adapting and now feels comfortable. If you were to change your diet to eat a high proportion of natural, whole foods, your body may feel uncomfortable for a few days, but very quickly would adapt. And by a couple of weeks would be very comfortable with that new way of eating, giving your body the nutrients that it needs and deserves. And I want you to see yourself maybe a year or two years in the future. See how radically you've changed. And see yourself as grateful for the discomfort. Because the discomfort was the stepping stone you needed to live the life you've always deserved. And if your unconscious mind is now willing to accept temporary discomfort as a stepping stone to move forward, to progress, to evolve, let me know by nodding your head. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Feel like you're returning to the present, leaving this comfortable place. Fully integrating into who you are right now, listening to my voice. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, fully connected to your body right now. Feeling optimistic about the future. Valuing truth. Self-love, self-respect. And integrity above comfort. Letting that guide your choices and decisions. Counting from 1 to 10 to awaken you. Starting to count. 1, 2, 3, waking up. 4, 5, 6. More alert. 7, 8. Open your eyes, open your eyes. 9, 10. Wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake.